Hello guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to add Facebook chat to your website. Let's get started. Do you have a website for your business? You can add a chat plugin to your website. This will be easier for your website visitors to reach you. To add a Messenger chat plugin to your website, go to your business suite. Choose the page where you want your page visitors to send you a direct message. Now choose Inbox. As an alternative, you can also find it under the All Tools menu in this section. Then from the list of tools, choose Inbox. Under the More tab, click on the Chat plugin. Here you can add a website to link your business page's Messenger chat plugin. Now click the Setup button. You can view a list of setup methods that you can choose from if you have a WordPress site, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, ManyChat, or Webflow. You can set up your chat plugin using these sites. For each site, you can view the instructions on how you can install this plugin. In this section, add your website domain. In this text field, you can add multiple domains to link to your Messenger chat plugin. Make sure not to add a subdomain like twitter.com slash Google Calendar. You can see that this is the domain and this is the subdomain. Under the welcome message, you can enable or disable this option. If you do not enable this, the user who clicks on your chat plugin won't receive any message from you unless you send them a response. For now, let's enable this welcome message. Then customize it to your preference. You may add an emoji to lighten the mood of your message. Next, add frequently asked questions here. Add a question in this text field, then write the response. To add more questions, just click the button, Add New Question. You may notice that you can only add a maximum of three questions. In this window, you can view how the chat plugin will be visible on your website. By default, your chat plugin will be shown in the lower right corner of your website. When they click on this chat plugin, they will receive this welcome message and view the list of questions here. Before they receive the welcome message, this is what they will see. They can choose to continue as their Facebook account or as a guest. Now let's start to customize the chat plugin. The greeting will show up before they even send you a message via the chat plugin. You can enable or disable the feature to accept messages from website visitors to chat with your business without logging into their messenger account. If you disable the guest chat feature, this is what they will see as they click on the chat plugin. You can choose a preset option that complements your brand. So you can match the color of your Messenger chat plugin depending on the color of your brand. The chat plugin and the color of the button will also change. Now edit the chat button. You can also control the look and the feel of the chat button. This is the chat button. You can choose to display icon only, icon and text, or text only. For icons, you can choose from these options for your chat plugin. For icon and text, you can also choose the same options for the icon. For the text only option, you can choose the text for the chat plugin. Options are chat, ask us, or help. Then choose the chat button size for desktop or mobile. You can also control where the chat plugin will be positioned on your website. You can choose for people to view it on the right side or left side, but most users would choose it to be aligned on the right side. The bottom margin allows you to adjust the position of the chat plugin on your website. You can adjust this to your preference. Once you're done, click Publish. You can check your website, and this is what you will see. The chat plugin is shown on the right side of the page. As a user browses the website, the position of the chat plugin stays in this section. If you don't include any welcome message or greeting messages, this is how people will view your chat plugin. It won't be enticing to engage with your brand as if no one is attending to you. As a customer, you will not like it if no one is attending to you, especially if you want to buy something, right? Here's an example of a chat plugin where the guest chat is not enabled. So you need to log into your Messenger account before you can send them a message. Here's the greeting message that they have set with information and call to action buttons. You can explore the products that they offer. This makes it easier for page visitors to learn about your brand and your products. If you need to run live, on-demand, scheduled, and webinar replays with hands-free automation and breakthrough sales to promote your products, 
We have a marketing app that can help you reach your buyers anywhere and sell them anything. It's called Webinar Loop. You can run automated and live webinar with Profit Maximizer features. Run live webinars and share your screen or your webcam. Run powerful live-like replays for your webinars that look live with simulated chats and events. Run your webinars on your own domains and subdomains and keep your customers connected with your identity with Webinar Loop. Maximize attendees with powerful attendance boosting features. Give your attendees the full live-like video, chat simulation, and make sales. Run automated webinars on a schedule. Create a sign-up page that forces people to sign up. It has breakthrough sales and engagement boosting features using a call to action and live buttons. Run surveys in the webinar to engage visitors and create polls, put graphics and ads in your webinars. So try Webinar Loop now. Go to getwebinarloop.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.